Hey there, welcome back to Mustard Seed Homesteading. If you're new here, welcome. Today I'm gonna to be planting my potato seeds and I wanted to show you which ones I'm planting, where I got them from, all the supplies that I use and what I'll be growing them in this year. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna show you is what I plan to plant my potato season this year. Last year I did bags, they didn't do horrible. I wanna say I got about 20 to 30 pounds of potatoes, but I noticed that in my green stalks, they did a whole lot better. So I plan to plant one in each pocket. And I'm gonna be doing two long green stalks, this one as well as this one. Now as far as supplies, I am going to be using this compost just to top dress because there's already Bacto soil and black cow compost in here from a previous planting in both green stalks. So when I plant the seeds, I'm just gonna top dress with the compost over it. And then with regards to the fertilizer, I purchased the fertilizer as well as majority of my seed potatoes from Wood Prairie Family Farm. I purchased them last year from this company and I really have enjoyed them. They're a wonderful company to work with. This one is their their organic potato fertilizer and this is their Oasis fertilizer. I plan to put both of this in the soil for first planting, but when the blooms come up, I'm just gonna top dress with this one. And then these right here are just my little markers and they also work uh, for holding plants up. You can loop string through here so they, they work double. Uh, in benefit and then my marker and then a ruler just to kind of measure how far uh, down the seed potato has to go. Okay and then of course I have shown this also in a previous video of my garden straw, my organic certified premium mulch straw. I have this out just in case I need to add a little bit more to the top. And then of course my seed potatoes. So like I said, I purchased the majority of these from Wood Prairie Farm. So I'm gonna go quickly through each one that I'm gonna be planting. I have the Adirondack Red. I also have the Sarpo Mira. I'm probably butchering that but I'm pronouncing it the best I can. And then I have Charlotte, I have the Adirondack Blue, I have the All Blue, and then these little ones right here, I actually purchased from the store and I cut them up. They're organic russet potatoes. Now, what I did make sure was that when whenever you cut up a potato, you don't wanna plant it fresh, you wanna let it heal and dry up like this because it could possibly mold. And so I cut them up and I let them dry for quite a while before planting. And then these little guys right here are your, let's see if I can get that in, Corolla, your dark red Norland, your rose gold, and your purple Viking. These are actually more suited for the South, which is why I purchased them. But I love to have a variety of different potatoes. And I had a really, like I said, I had a pretty good harvest last year. And I tried different potatoes and I enjoyed them very much. So I did the same thing this year. Okay, so for today's video, I'm going to be planting the all blue. And what I did was I just pulled the straw back that was already there. And I took this end piece of my little tag and all I did was kind of loosen up the soil here so that I can put the fertilizer in there. And so what I'm gonna do now is take the fertilizer and I'm going to put just a little bit in each pocket. This was actually leftover fertilizer that I had from last year. And I knew I was gonna need more, so I purchased more from them. I've really enjoyed using fertilizer from the companies that I purchased my starts or my seed potatoes, like my onion starts. And then the other one is going to be the Oasis. I'm gonna just plant that in there that I had shown earlier as well. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in like this. And then all I'm gonna do is take the end of, of this right here and I'm just gonna work it in. Now I do wanna make mention that when you're planting your seed potatoes in a green stalk, 
that you want about six to eight inches of soil below the tuber. These are 10 inch deep pockets and you want about two to four inches of soil above the tuber so that it allows to form tubers below and enough room for it to grow up top. So with regards to what I'm doing, I'm gonna have about two and a half to three inches of soil over the tuber and then leave the rest below it, just soil and compost. Now these are the all blue seed potatoes that I purchased and as you can see all of these sprouts this is what you want. Now if I had cut them I would have cut along this way to have at least two sprouts if not three per potato seed but in this case like I said I'm just going to be planting the whole potato but you want to see these sprouts on your potatoes before you grow them. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my seed potato and I'm just gonna nestle it right in here into the soil. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my compost and I'm just going to put it right over the seed potato. And then the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm not actually gonna water over these because the compost is very, very, very moist. So I'm just going to take the straw and put it right back over. And it looks like I need more straw and that's why I always have my supplies close to me because I need to go grab that to add to this tier. And that is all you do. And at this point, you're just going to water every so often, maybe, I don't know, it just depends how much it rains by you. You don't wanna have too much water because you don't want it to rot in there. You just want the soil to be moist, but not oversaturated. And the last thing I'm gonna do is take this marker. I marked it all blue, because that's the name of the potato, and I'm gonna just stick it right in here on the edge. But what I really enjoy from these that I purchased from Greenstock is this piece right here. This is where I can loop a string through to give the plant any support that it may need as it continues to grow. And that's it. So I do want to add that when you're planting your seed potatoes, you want the soil temperature to be 65 to 70 degrees, and you don't want the outside temperature to be more than 90 degrees, because potatoes do not like hot, hot heat. So in my case right here in my driveway, this gets most of the sun, so I'll have them here for right now because we're not experiencing super hot, hot temperatures. But if the temperatures start to rise over 90 degrees, I am going to roll it over to my patio section because while it does get sun, it also experiences a lot more shade than over here so that my potatoes can grow properly. 
So I hope this was helpful for you. Potatoes is one crop that I really want to learn how to grow for my family because we consume them regularly. So I'm doing my spring planting now, but I'm also gonna start doing a fall planting come this, this next fall. But I hope this encouraged you because potatoes are really easy to grow and they're fun to grow too, especially when you get into the different varieties. But I appreciate you stopping by. And again, I hope this was helpful and I'll see you all next time. Bye.